The freedom of motion inside of the space station is huge. And then working was busy. It was definitely very busy. Uh, I got up there when a SpaceX uh, Dragon spacecraft was docked just because there's a lot of science that requires return and things have to be done on a very specific timeline. It was very fast paced immediately. And the sp So arriving at the space station, something I'll never forget is looking over my left shoulder out the window in the Soyuz, where it was either a view of the Earth or blackness in space. And then all of a sudden I could see a solar array. I'm getting chills even thinking about it right now. It was this beautiful gold, massive. I mean, you don't ever train and see a solar array at full scale here. And so there it was, and the Russian commander sitting to my right. I had to really pay close attention, and I was supposed to be too. But as soon as I saw those solar arrays, I broke the silence and said, wow! And he was like, what's up? So uh, yeah, I was, the, I was definitely a rookie. I was excited. freedom of motion inside of the space station is huge. And then working was busy. It was definitely very busy. Uh, I got up there when a SpaceX uh, Dragon spacecraft was docked, just because there's a lot of science that requires return and things have to be done on a very specific timeline. It was very fast paced immediately. And the space station is very unique because on the space station, orbit is really a continuous free fall. And because of that, you can have some very unstable structures that might not be able to stay together if you're on the ground. They can stay together on the space station. Flames behave differently because combustion on the ground requires drawing in all these rich gases into the flame because the hot combustion gases go up and away. But there's no up and away in the space station. All directions are equal as far as that's concerned. So that behaves differently. There's all kinds of different phenomena that we can experiment with. That's why it's a wonderful laboratory many, many different experiments. Some of those experiments actually have to do with us as the uh, test subjects, because we're trying to understand how to have people safely travel for longer and longer distances too. That's just a sub part of all the science we're doing on the space station. Some people have talked about at some point in the expedition feeling like it's time to go home, but for me there was always another spacewalk or another vehicle capture that was coming up, so it always felt like suddenly I was going home and it surprised me. I'm Mark Vandehei and I'm a NASA astronaut.